or doesn't have to make decisions much farther away. And as yep. it comes close, it'll become more and more accurate. Exactly. A lot of questions. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. My question has to do with sort of AI and manufacturing. It's been a while since we've heard about the alien dreadnought concept. Is the humanoid that's behind you guys, is that kind of brought out of the production hell timeline and saying that humans are underrated in that process? Um, well, sometimes like some, I, you know, something that I say is uh, taken to too much of an extreme. Um, there, <laughs> um, there are parts of the Tesla system that are, are almost completely automated. And then there are some parts that are almost completely manual. Um, and uh, if you were to walk through the whole production system, you would see a very wide range from, yeah, like I said, f fully automatic to almost completely manual. Uh, but the vast majority, it, it, most of it is, is, is already uh, automated. Um, so, and then with the, some of the design architecture changes, like going to large uh, aluminum uh, high pressure die cast uh, components, we, we can take the entire rear third of the car and cast it as a single piece. And now we're going to do the, the front third of the car as a single piece. So the, the body line, uh, drops by like 60 to 70 percent in size. Um, but yeah, the, the, the robot is not, is not prompted by, specifically by manufacturing needs. It's, it's just that um, we're just obviously making the pieces that are needed for a useful humanoid robot. Um, so I guess we probably should make it. And if we don't, someone else would, will. And so I guess we should make it and make sure it's safe. I should say, like, also manufacturing, volume manufacturing is extremely difficult um, and underrated, and we've gotten pretty good at that. 